Hi, it's great to have you back. The idea of a magic weight loss pill has likely crossed your mind before. Long considered science fiction, it now looks more realistic than ever. If you are struggling with your weight, this may be something you're interested in. Living with overweight or obesity can lead to many concerns. You may worry that you won't find a partner, or you might not have the chance to have children. You may be noticing a decline in your health or mobility issues, making you feel like this is your last chance to turn things around. I can assure you, you're not alone if you feel you've tried every diet out there and they always result in failure or more weight gain. Ultimately, you just want help losing the weight. If you could do it, you feel it would bring happiness, confidence and just make life that little bit easier. You may have resigned yourself to always feeling this way, until one day, either through a friend or while scrolling social media, you heard about a new weight loss medication. You were likely suspicious at first. We've all heard these claims before and nothing ever seems to live up to the hype. However, a quick search here on YouTube has shown a variety of people lending their support to this new medication's miraculous results. But things in the world of weight loss are really straightforward and the path to success is not always clear. In this video, we'll take a look at this new weight loss medication coming to the UK, discuss what it is, how you can get it and what it might mean for you. For those of you new to the channel, I'm Rob. I'm a registered dietitian specializing in chronic conditions. I translate the science of health, nutrition, and performance into practical guidance to help you live a healthier and happier life. Let's start by taking a quick moment to recap what medications are currently available and where this new one fits in. Wegovy falls into a classification of drugs called GLP-1 agonists. I explained how these work in my video on short-term satiety signals, which I'll link below. Within this classification, there are a few different drugs, but we'll focus on two. These are liraglutide, which is branded as Victoza when used for type 2 diabetes, and Saxenda when used for weight management. The second is semaglutide, which again has a branded version for diabetes called Zempic, and a version for weight management called Wagovi, which is going to be the focus of today's video. So you may be wondering why all the excitement around this new version. Large-scale trials conducted by the drug's manufacturer, Nova Nordisk, have found that the mean reduction in body weight from the start of the trial until week 68 was 14.9% in the participants given Wagovi, compared to just 2.4% in the placebo group. That is a huge difference. Wagovi has also been shown to be more effective than Saxenda for weight loss. Step 8 was a randomised controlled trial including 388 adults living with obesity or overweight with at least one weight-related comorbidity and without type 2 diabetes. The difference in mean percentage change in body weight at 68 weeks, so just shy of one year and four months, was 9.38%. As an added benefit, Wagovi only needs to be administered once per week, whereas Saxenda requires a daily injection. Saxenda has been available privately in the UK now for a few years and was approved by the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, or NICE, for use within the NHS under strict criteria on the 30th of October 2020. Part of this criteria includes a diagnosis of prediabetes. At the time of publishing this video, Wagovi is not currently available in the UK. However, NICE are currently appraising the clinical and cost effectiveness of this medication and are expected to announce their findings on the 25th of May 2022. Make sure you are subscribed if you'd like to be kept up to date with the details of this report when it's announced. Please note this information could change in the future. As things currently stand, within the NHS, Wagovi will be considered an option for weight management, including weight loss and weight maintenance, alongside a reduced calorie diet and increased physical activity in adults only if they have at least one weight-related comorbidity. NICE define these as either type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, hypertension, obstructive sleep apnea, cardiovascular disease, osteoarthritis, dyslipidemia, functional disability, infertility and depression if specialist advice is needed for management. So quite a broad list. Patients will also need to have a body mass index or BMI of at least 35 or exceptionally a BMI of 30 to 34.9 and for people from either South Asian, Chinese, Black African or Caribbean family backgrounds, BMI thresholds may be reduced by two and a half. 
If you were prescribed this medication by the NHS, you would receive treatment up to a maximum of two years. NICE have noted that having only two years of Agovi treatment would not be ideal, as obesity is a lifelong condition. However, they still thought it would be highly beneficial for helping weight loss over a two-year period, which would give people the opportunity to incorporate more physical activity into their lifestyles with improved mobility and reduced pain. The clinical experts noted that assumptions around the rate of weight gain after treatment are very uncertain. However, they thought that on average most people would regain an unspecified amount of weight after stopping Wagovi. You may be wondering if this seems fair. As for the majority of chronic conditions, once you are prescribed a medication, it is typically offered for the rest of your life, such as with type 2 diabetes or high cholesterol. This could potentially change in the future, once we have more evidence around this medication's effectiveness not only to reduce weight, but also reduce the likelihood of developing weight-related conditions that may potentially cost your healthcare provider more over the course of your life. If you are hoping to be prescribed this medication on the NHS, please understand this is a disruptive technology that has only just been integrated into its services. There is currently a very strict criteria that needs to be worked through and met in order to offer this medication. I would ask that you are patient and respectful as it may take some time to work through this process. All healthcare professionals have to work within the guidance their governing bodies set. On the NHS, Wagovi should only be provided by specialist weight management services and not your GP. If you are considering purchasing this medication for yourself, we can look to Wagovi's marketing authorization for further details. You will notice that the criteria for its use in this context is not as strict as it is on the NHS. It is indicated as an adjunct to a reduced calorie diet and increased physical activity for weight management, including weight loss and weight maintenance in adults with a BMI of 30 and over or 27 to 30 in the presence of one weight-related comorbidity which I discussed earlier. For those planning to take this medication for a short time as a potential quick fix, please note that whereas Saxenda had a five-week dosing schedule, meaning that you must gradually increase the dose over five weeks to reach therapeutic levels, Wagovi has a five-month dosing schedule. This means you will need to budget for a five-month supply as a bare minimum. You will likely need to take this medication for the full 68 weeks to see similar weight loss levels as they did in this medication's trial. As with all medication, there is some degree of risk involved with its use. Wagovi may cause serious side effects including possible thyroid tumours, including cancer, along with other potential side effects. If you are considering this treatment, please do your research and make an informed decision. Whilst researching this video, I've seen many stories of people putting some or the majority of their weight back on once this medication has been stopped. Unless you are one of the very few who can afford to take this indefinitely, it is not realistic to rely on this medication alone to lose weight. It may certainly make initial weight loss easier, but you need to put the work in for it to have any long-term benefits. This brings us to my next point, as I also wanted to highlight the variability in the package of care on offer when buying this medication privately. As I've already seen with Saxenda, some clinics simply provide the medication following a short consultation and offer no further support, leaving people to fend for themselves. In contrast, others offer regular checkups, someone to contact in case of issues, and most importantly, ongoing diet and lifestyle support. This part is key, as all of the participants in the trial receive some form of lifestyle advice to complement the process, which helped them reach these impressive weight loss numbers. I would recommend that you look for a package of care that includes some form of diet and lifestyle advice, or as an alternative, you may seek the support of a private dietitian to cover this aspect of your journey. Ultimately, the change has to come from within, not from the outside. This is especially true once we understand that good health is the ultimate goal. For without health, many other things in life are diminished. Although this medication may help reduce weight, good health relies on so much more. Living a healthy life is about the journey, not the destination. The journey teaches us how to discover our values, set goals, build habits, reflect on our progress and recognise what works for us. If you have weight to lose, aiming to reach a healthy weight for your body is going to be helpful. But it is equally important to recognise why we want something and to be realistic about how we will feel once we achieve it. 
I'm not here to discourage anyone from considering this treatment. You may be looking at it as a helping hand to get you kick-started on a new diet and lifestyle routine, which, given the associated physiological effects of obesity, may actually be a really effective approach for some. But please remember, change doesn't happen overnight, and on your journey you may discover other things you need to work on too. If you are thinking about making changes, I'd highly encourage you to check out my behaviour change playlist, which you can find here. This will help you identify what first steps you need to take to maximise your chance of success. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.